Chatagata's teachings, vowing to save all sentient beings. Hi there, this is Kotei from Tree Leaf, and I'm wearing my face raksu. <laughs> Jundu was joking that this is a face raksu, but in a way it's also true, because as aspiring bodhisattvas we have to fulfill our vow to save all sentient beings. And this mask is a way of doing so. It is not meant as a mask to protect you. It has a different function. It is protecting others from you. And with that, it somehow is wearing the Buddha's teachings. And it is about saving all sentient beings. So if you want to, every superhero needs his mask and <laughs> this is ours, our Bodhisattva mask. Four or five people who have who carry the coronavirus has only very mild to no signs of this illness. But it ca he or she carries the virus and infects others. And this year is a courtesy to others. It tells others, I care about you. And it hinders you in spitting in each other's face while talking. So it does prevent infecting others. I did these because I wasn't able to buy some. They are sold out in Germany, in at least in the major cities. But I still want to wear it and like um, some other countries, Germany is also thinking about making this mandatory in supermarkets or on public transport, which I would very much like to see. Professionals said don't wear a mask, there is no reason for doing so, but they were well focused on protecting oneself and not on protecting others. And so people need to come up and show them that it is about saving others and it works for that. And the professionals slowly understand how this is mean and um, join in. So I think this is good and I wear it. And I've seen it, um, a bit like a Rakuzu, Raksu, sorry, um, like our single backstitch um, that we are doing there, and an N around it, and a Kagami in the inside, of course, a lot easier than that. So yes, I will try showing you how to do this. Um, but first, there are some do's and don'ts when handling such masks. They can be dangerous to your own health in a way. Because the way they work is they filter virus particles out of the air. In case you don't carry the virus, which is also likely if you don't feel anything bad, um, they still act as a filter and they aggregate virus particles on the outside when you run around with it. So it's, it's important that you don't touch this mask in the, on the front because there is the virus and if you touch it, you've got it on your hands. It is also important that you don't wear it a second day or if it gets wet from breathing or several times a day over longer periods. You shouldn't do this because it is all through full of virus particles, maybe. I touched my face, I shouldn't do that also. Um, after taking off this mask, you should also disinfect or wash for 20 seconds like it's usual these days your hands because you might have touched that virus. 
and of course you should wash it with hot wash in the machine or cooking five minutes on the stove then it's sufficiently disinfected. You should store it always dry and you should dry it afterwards. Another thing is um, when people get anxious and wear a mask, they have the tendency to breathe only shallow. You shouldn't do that because when you wear a mask and breathe only shallow, you breathe your own exhaled air in and there is not enough oxygen in it, so it gets more and more difficult to breathe. That's not good. You should take normal deep breaths so that your own exhaled air that you inhale again is only say 5% or so of your breath and not more than 50% if you <laughs> breathe shallow. Um, that's it. It is a little bit exhausting to wear such a mask for a longer period of time. So if you have issues with breathing or with your blood flow or with your heart, consider what you're doing. It is maybe harmful for you. So that's it. There's not much material and tools needed. After all, it's not that big. You need a piece of fabric that can take hot washing or cooking for five minutes on the stove. This here has a slight problem because the black will lose color and the bright green will take it. So after some washings it will be more and more gray and not that bright green. So maybe it would have been a better idea taking a dark green or so as, as the end. By the way, the thread we use for sewing, when it has the same color as the end, as in this case here, you can pretty much sew however you like. No one will see how bad it is. <laughs> and this is pretty bad, but black on black is, well, it's gone. You will need for the, well, taking a, Talking about Raksu, for the Kagami, the centerpiece, you will need, this is smaller, but you will need 35 by 17 centimeters. We will fold it in halves and then iron some folds, some additionals in it. The additional folds are for fitting around your nose. To determine of if your fabric is the right one and you can breathe sufficiently through it, you can hold it around your mouth and nose after you took it double and breathe deep and slowly through it. You should feel some light resistance but be able to breathe okay through it. This is good. You can use the same for the N or you could use another color for the N, uh, the frame. No problem. Um, because this is so small, I don't think one should um, use the same method for sewing the N as in a Raksu. So with folding the edges, but just have better four independent pieces to do so. The pieces are folded in halves and then again put inside for the seam that it doesn't fray out. So the total of this is 17 centimeters by 4 centimeters and it will be folded in halves and those will be folded in again so it is just a centimeter. And this is so small that the edges just have to overlap. So you let these edges open, so it's really the 17 by 4 or 5 centimeters, two times. And for these, if you will do the vertical parts also just out of fabric, you will need two pieces with 4 or 5 centimeters high and 90 centimeters long. This is an alternative way of doing it. 
I just cut a small piece for the frame, folded it inside and then just sew it on here. Before that I put a shoelace in it or you can use whatever type of string that is big enough and sew it in there. Uh, I like this better. It's better to tie around the head and you don't have to sew two times 90 centimeters. Uh, don't need to. But you can. You don't need this stuff. We will see both versions later on. Uh, this with the shoelace also has the um, advantage that you can use one of these uh, stoppers that are on jackets or on uh, rucksacks or so where you press a button and fix it. So you don't have to do a knot behind your head, you can just press the stopper and pull the lace through. Yes, that's the material. Oh, I forgot, you need a piece of wire, 15 centimeters that will reside in the upper part of the frame. We just put it in there and sew it in place with the frame. It is meant to form around the nose. The mask will only be as good as it fits. So there shouldn't be any gaps around. And with the nose part you can achieve it only with something like a wire, a pipe cleaner, a the flat piece of wire in a cheap uh, plastic paper binder or something. Something that forms here. You can of course also sew it, but this is a completely different mask where you um, sew two lines in here so that the fabric itself has a, a certain form. But there is also a, a seam here and well, I feel that is way more complicated than this with some folds for the nose and the wire. Wire, fabric, scissors, a pencil or a fabric marker for marking what you will cut, a ruler, of course the lace or something if you're using it something to cut the wire, some pins, sewing needle, a thread, preferably in the color of the end so you can sew however you like and no one will see it, how bad it is. <laughs> of course you can do it good. Mr. Iron is your friend, of course. That's it. As many of us already know how to do the back stitch for a Ruxu, um, I think we should use that stitch. It is not really important what kind of stitch you're using, it just has to, to hold this all together and be okay with cooking it sometimes. And it worked for me. So the Ruxu stitch shows as a point on the front side and as a dash on the back side. I will show it later when I start sewing, but if you've done a rug sew prior to this, um, you shouldn't be in any trouble. It's a very small rug sew. <laughs> That's the material. And now I start drawing and cutting.